Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias here from The Automator, and today we're going to cover some quick tips for placing controls when you're adding new buttons, just making it easier, because you, sometimes adding these buttons can really be a pain in lining them up and everything. So stick around and get these great tips. Isaias has figured out a really great way. We kind of stumbled upon it because he was updating one of our GUIs, and I said, why don't you make this, you know, share this as a tip, because this is one thing that's not in our GUIs Are Easy course, but you can see the URL mm -hmm. here. But, but it's one of those great little tips to, to know once you understand how to create GUIs, how easy it is. So, as I just want you to show us what's going on. Right. So, here we have the GUI in question. And uh, it's a very simple GUI. It's just a list view and a few buttons. Now, I try to force myself to remember always to use this method because it is very easy to forget. Um, most of the times when you're creating buttons, you use you know x and y locations like that like static x and y locations and probably you just move a few pixels to the right a few pixels to the left and that's it but i usually try to grab the width of my main control one that i know that i'm not going to be moving that much in this case it would be the list view and i got i grab the size of that and then i align all my other controls to that one control and the way how i do that is that for example um, I set my width for the, my list view is going to be this and my height is going to be that. Now, when I'm going to create my tabs, so this is the tab control that I have up here, what I do with it is that I grab the width and add some pixels to the sides and that's the size of it, you see? So I just make calculations based on one control. So now, kind of right, exactly. I just try to make it, them relative to one another. Um, yeah. Right. Most of the times what I usually do is use the X, M, and Y plus positions. Like I just put pluses in each of the numbers. That means that as soon as I add a new control, it moves to the side with the others. That's all there is. But the one that caught your attention was this with the buttons. Because usually what happens is um, that I like to align my buttons to the right side of the screen. Most of the times you can have them here. And to move them there, the main issue is knowing the X position of the button where, where you're going to start. So what I think about is, okay, I grab the button. I have them all with the same width most of the time. So I have a, a standard width in my mind of 75 pixels. And I just say, okay, if my control ends here at, I don't know, what was it? The 700. Okay. So from 700, I remove 75 pixels for my button but I also have to remove 10 pixels for the margin. That's what is going on. Okay, so 75 for my button and 10 for the margin. But then I start at a multiplying. Okay, I have three buttons. So I'm just gonna have the width of the thing minus three buttons minus 10 pixels for the margin. That's what is going on. So um, it is that with the margins is a little bit annoying because it, it, these 10 pixels here, you have to count them, this, these guys, but there are some of them that are counted already for your left margin is already being counted. So at this point, I just count 10 once. So that's what you see here. You see my list view width. I remove the three buttons and then I remove 10 pixels from the margin. But every time I add a new button, then I count that. So I just add 10 more pixels. So this allows me to just simply copy a button, say uh, uh, remove list or whatever, doesn't matter what it is. And now as I just added a button and between those two buttons, there's 10 pixels, I just add to 10 pixels here, 20. And now when I refresh my GUI, um, let me see, did I do that? Oh, because I have to add another button here for it. I think I put it at the bottom. So yeah, I have to calculate an additional button. Um, now it just lines up to whatever location. It just moves everything to the well, side very easily. It shifted everything over to the left a bit more and then right. that extra button. Right. So basically it's very simple. I usually tend to have one word buttons. Yeah. Um, but in general, if you, if you uh, let me see, open whatever it is, it doesn't matter. The point is that for me, for, for adding a new button on this row, it's just as easy as counting my button. Okay, I now have four buttons. Well, I put 10 pixels for the new padding. 
and then just add my button. And remember, and this is the thing, all of them are uh, relative to each other. The only one that I had to specify a location was the first one here. And that's the first button that I needed to calculate the size, well, the X position for it. That's all. What what doesn't make sense to me is be, it, when you had it as three minus, you had three minus 10. Uh -huh, so I had this, so three minus 10, right. like this, and I didn't have this button. Right, which I understood you had 10 pixels to the right and you were taking that into account. But what if there was two? What would it be, two minus 10 still, or no? No, let's try it. Let, let me show you what happened. So if I just do this. You see that it is not exactly right? Because there's like five pixels. So the, the, the amount of pixels that I'm removing is in an increment of five, more or less. Um, between the two, there's 10 pixels, but you're counting five on one side and five of the other. Notice that the load here is also off by five pixels. So that's the, at the beginning, it, it is a little bit um, counterintuitive to understand why they align or why they don't align. But after you get the hang of it, like that's the reason why I don't take 10 over there. I just, you know, I just, at this point, I don't know if I have to re add five. Okay, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. no, so it's not adding five. But the idea, I think there is, uh, the reason why the pixel is not exactly now a number is because I have a, con a text control on the other side. You see this? This text control is actually messing up my my calculation. But in general, when it is buttons, it's really easy to calculate, and it is based on the margins that you have on your GUI. Um, I think the right now, most of the time, I, I come up with the basic um, calculation, the width of each button multiplied by how many buttons there are, minus the width, or the width minus that. And then whatever pixel difference, I just put it here manually. I just eyeball it because I don't care about that. I, yeah. the, the one that I do care about is this one here. Well, in, in where I was getting lost at, but now I understand what's going on. I think I've got a grasp of it was I was thinking that last, uh, don't laugh, but the last like 10 or 20 that we had there uh -huh. was actually adjusting the stuff on the right, but you're just controlling where you start. Right. On, yeah. Basically, basically, this calculation is where am I going to place the X location right. Right. of the first button? Yep. And then after that, I'm just adding the other thing. And, and after you get the hang of it, it's, it's yeah. very easy. So in reality, to some degree, that minus 10 right here is just... Well, it could be a multiplier of the three to some degree, correct? Exactly. Most of the times it is. In my case right now, as I'm I'm having some other controls in the in front that have some different uh, width, that's where I manually control for it. But in general, I'm just saying, hey, the width of the list view minus the three buttons, because I know that the, each of them is 75 pixels, that's it. And then after that, I just control for a little bit of shifting. Yeah, That's so it. try this. I'm just curious. So instead of saying minus 10, mm -hmm. put a put a minus and then a left paren three times three, right? Um, uh, now, okay, I understand what you mean, yeah. About that, and now what I'm really curious is that shouldn't be terrible. Now change it to two or change it to four, whichever way you want to go. Right? Um, so to two, in, so if I'm going to add a new button or remove a button? Right, right? either way. Okay, so two. let's remove a button. So that would be two here. And and you got to, for now, change one of those threes to a two. Right. And with any luck, that's eh, still not. Yeah, nice. that's the problem. It is, it is a multiplier, but it's not exactly, uh, well, I wouldn't count it a multiplier from the button because I'm not counting the buttons. I'm counting the margins. So the mar it should be a multiplier of the margin. That's what it is. So right now, if I say, okay, I have to count the margin once, it would be 10 pixels. If I want to count three margins, then it would be three. So by 10. In this case, I would go by 10. And I'm just counting one margin at the moment, I think. Um, so at this point, let me see, minus... Let me double check on something. Yeah, the more you add it, the less. So yeah. Um, oh, hold on. 
Yeah, because you're making that you're moving it further over. Yeah, right. But at this point, yeah. Uh, at this point, I think the first time, yeah. So the, when I have only two buttons, I should not count the margin. Is what is going on? Okay. So the first time, just the first two buttons. After the third button, because what happens is that, and, no. and I, I, I took a time to figure that one out the first time I tried it. Again, it's not being pixel perfect because of this control, yeah. but here's the thing. There's, you remember that there's 10 pixels to the left. When, when, when you have a normal margin, if you don't touch the margins of the GUI, by default, it comes with 10 pixels to the left, 10 pixels to the right. And there's a third margin in between the two right here. But as I am moving everything to the left, the 75, well, you, I, 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 I can, I should not count the margins, the tens. I'm not counting them yet. As soon as I add a new, uh, another button here, now I do have to count the first margin that I have to add. And this is, um, let me see, did I do? Oh, because I have to put three buttons now. Yeah. So now see, that's where it, now that's where it lines up, right? Now, if I go ahead and, add another button, new button. Now I'm counting two margins and four buttons. Ba basically, that's what I'm, I, I was doing, uh, like just counting the margins and counting the, bu the buttons because I do have to calculate how many margins I have to remove. And there's two margins of that that you cannot count because they're the left and right margins of the GUI not the buttons themselves those don't count right so um, in any case it is it, it was a very interesting trick that I, I saw somebody doing something similar and then i said no let me let, i i always start with that and notice all of the other buttons i could put xm but in this one i would need to put 200 and something like this you know because that one is a static location whenever i saw that that this one i cannot put you know, that I have to put a static number, then I say, hey, how can I calculate that number? As soon as I calculate the number, then any changes that I do to my GUI, for example, like, oh, I want the list view to be bigger. Oh, I just made it 900 pixels bigger. Now everything else will adjust to it. I don't have to do anything. Awesome. Because yeah, because now the GUI moved to the right, but now all my buttons actually adjusted to the calculation. Yeah. So it allows me to quickly kind of like update many things. Um, sometimes the calculations are more complex than other times. Sure. Um, that's not an issue. Uh, you know, that's that's okay. Yeah, that can happen. <laughs> but the point is to figure out a way to mathematically make your adjustments, right? I think I think any time you are forced to put a number in an X or Y position, do the math and all the other buttons that come next or all the other controls, just use the plus M, you know, that's it. Just just do the, the manual one because that, that this one is very easy to follow. XM, X plus five, you see this here. This is very, this is very common. So I just use those when I can. And if I cannot, then I calculate whatever I could to get that one right. Awesome. So again, this is this was a little more advanced part of the thing, but just kind of planning ahead. But yeah, if you're new to GUIs, um, take a look at our intro to GUIs course. It's a solid, you know, auto hockey is by far the easiest way to create. Yeah. It's awesome. So check it out. There you go.